And using steroid creams, there are different potency, very weak to very strong. When you have a case where you have a flare, what would you choose initially? It really depends upon the body surface area involved, the part of the body we're treating, and the age of the child. So in my really young patients who don't have severe eczema and maybe we're treating the face, we'll, we'll try very low potency steroids, like a class six. In my patients are a little bit older and have areas like an elbow involved and it's really severe or really thick in plaques, I'll go all the way up to class one, like a clobetazole. If you do use a very strong steroid, are any concerns of having something happen to the skin? Not in the short term. We have the upper limit of use at two weeks. Uh, there's no trouble you can get into using even ultra potence on young children up to two weeks. Beyond that, you really need to be careful with potential for HP HPA axis suppression, uh, which is a suppression of, uh, of your body's uh, internal organs, uh, endocrine organs. There's also the risk of skin thinning, of permanent telangiectasias or redness on the skin. If you notice some changes and you stop it, will it reverse or you could end up with permanent damage? All the secondary characteristics or secondary side effects of steroids should be reversible. It may take several months, but they should be reversible.